So why is it when I type something into here and I, I click done, nothing happened? Well, the reason is when I click done, um, right now, when I click done, there's nothing shows the view controller that we actually click done and we don't doesn't we don't tell the con view controller that what happened when we click done okay so in order to tell the view controller that we click done we have to connect has some kind of um, delegation for this text field into this view controller okay and there comes something called delegate delegation in iOS is something you use all the time okay delegate means that you will have you will delegation you will assign this view controller to be the delegate to be the representative of any UI control and whenever um, there's something happen in this in that UI control the view controller can tell okay so we will talk about that in much detail in the next uh, intermediate iOS level okay so now I will select that one and you notice that we have a delegate in order to assign this view controller to be the delegate of this text field I will click onto that drag into this view controller and I release so now the view controller is the text field delegate but in order to um, completely show that the view controller is the delegate of this text field I have to tell the compiler that this tip calculator view controller conforms to UI text field delegate it is a protocol okay so UI I will now I will go over the tip calculator view controller right next to the UI view controller I will have a comma and then space and then UI view text I'm sorry UI text field delegate all right so UI text field delegate it is the UI text field delegate protocol defines the messages sent to a text field delegate as part of the sequence of editing its text all of the methods in this protocol are optional now we at this level of um, our journey we don't have actually dive really deep into this I want just want to introduce you that there's something called a delegate there's something called protocol and protocol let's say it is kind of like the rules that you have to follow in a um, certain way okay so now when we send some events from this text field into this view controller then the view controller will know now I will um, Okay, so before into that, we want to when when I click into the uh, done, I want to um, I want to let the compiler know, right? So I will do fun. Go right down here, count tick field should return, and this one is really cool because when I click done, I can actually hide the keyboard so that the keyboard doesn't obscure the view like that. Okay, so. I will do if tick field I have the tick field pro, uh, parameter like that equals equals okay UI I'm sorry um, amount before text text field just want to make sure this is actually that and we want to uh, tick field dot resign first responder the resign first responder is simply um, there's something in iOS called the first responder and the first responder of the of the tick field is the keyboard meaning that when you click into a text field the keyboard appears so the keyboard is the first responder of this text field okay make sense now we will resign this right and then I want to calculate the tip right we hit done and then we will calculate the tip and then notice that uh, this is return a boolean value meaning that will are you allow me allow are you allow the view controller or this delegate the delegate of this tech field to return the keyboard to the reach uh, to allow the tech field to return right so I will do return true so let's run this
Okay, so when I click onto that, delete something like that, 0.4, okay, and look what happened when I click done. There we go. So the keyboard not only disappears, but this label, it changes. The value is changes because in this tip count tip, we update some variables of the tip count. And then we, up, we calculate the tip, we update UI. Okay, that's good, that's cool, right? Now let's talk again about this. We have the amount before text tick field change. And you know, this is an uh, event method from this tick field. And in order to, for the controller to know to call this, we have to assign the delegate of this tick field to be this view controller, just simply by control drag, uh, drag from this to this. And we also have to impl explicitly tell that this tip calculator view controller conforms to UI tick field delegate, okay? And UI tick field delegate has this method amount before text tick field change, okay? And we will do that, and then we will do this, right? And actually, we will, in here, we will count it, okay? There we go. Now, next thing I want to introduce you to something called uh, another event method. It is called editing change. It simply is as as we as we typed in the numbers like this, we calculate the tips, right? So I will select that one, and I will have another method editing change. Okay. And how about this? This one is will also have an IB action, right? And if you notice that in in what in the playlist app, we control drag from multiple album views, multiple UI images into one IB action method. Okay, so we will do the same in this. Well, we have editing change. I will control into that. Okay, there we go. Now when I run this. Okay, I click into that, delete that. You see that the, this one change also? There we go, it changes, it changes as we typed in, right? And I hit done, there we go. And now in the next video, I want to, as we slide this, we will update this tip label. We will change the, um, the label of the result. How cool is that, right? So in the next video, we will learn how to do this with this slider. And I know that some there are a lot of concepts in this video. We learned about delegates, about events, UI control events. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to post any questions or comments below or post it in the forum, okay? Or contact me directly. Feel free to do that. I will be answering questions and reviewing comments personally. Until next time, i see you in the next video.